Module 5, Lesson 8, Homework. Number 1. I have a prism with the dimensions of 6 cm by 12 cm by 15 cm. Calculate the volume of the prism, and then give the dimensions of three different prisms that each have one third of the volume. So let's first figure out the volume of this first prism. So 6 by 12 by 15. So 6 times 12 is 72. So we just need to do 72 times 15. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. Done with the 5. Put our placeholder down, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 7 is 7. Add it together. We get 1,080 centimeters cubed. Now, it says that each of the, the rest of the prisms each have one-third of the volume. So let's find out what one-third of that is. We're going to do that by dividing this by 3. So 3 goes into 1, 0 times, but it goes into 10, 3 times. Bring down the 8. 3 goes into 18, 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18, 0 bring down the zero. Now three goes into zero, zero times. Three times zero is zero. So we get 360. So this needs to equal 360, this needs to be 360, and this needs to be 360. They're all centimeters cubed. So I'm just thinking of three things that will multiply to be 360 centimeters cubed. So First of all, I see that it ends in a zero, which means that I can multiply it by 10. So I'm gonna make this 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters times 36, 10 times 36 would be 360. So I can make this 36 centimeters in this one centimeter. So that would be 360 centimeters cubed. Another way, I'm gonna stick with 10 and I'm going to break 36 into, let's see, what times what equals 36? We can do 6 centimeters and 6 centimeters. So that would equal 360 centimeters cubed. And I'm going to use 10 again. This time I'll make it the height because, again, it doesn't matter. And two more things that equal 36, we could do 3 times 12. So I'll do 3 centimeters times 12 centimeters would all be 360 centimeters cubed. So there are different answers you could have used. You could um, move them around in different lengths, widths, and heights. But these are just three examples that would work. Number two, Sunny's bedroom has the dimensions of 11 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. So her bedroom, the length, width, and height. So the length is 11. The width is 10, and the height is 10. Her den has the same height, but double the volume. So the den, length, width, height, says the den has the same height, so 10 feet, but double the volume. So in order to figure out what double the volume is, let's figure out what the volume of the bedroom is. So 11 by 10 by 10, well, that would be 11 times 100. 11 times 100 would be 1,100 feet cubed. So double that, 1,100 times 2, that would be 2,200 feet cubed. So we need to just give two sets of dimensions possible for the volume of the den. So we know that the height is, has to be 10. So something needs to equal 2,200. So if we've already multiplied it by 10, then we're just looking at 220. So what two things could I multiply to get 220? Well, I could do 22 times 10. So those are two possible answers. And if I want to do it again, so two other factors, we could do, let's see, 2 times 
11, that would be 22, but then we're still missing 10. We could do 2 times 110. That would be 220, 220. So 2 times 110 times 10. So these are two other dimensions that you could use. Now there's multiple other answers. So maybe you came up with 5 times 44 times 10. That would work too. Just as long as your height is 10, but it still adds up or multiplies to be 2,200 cubic feet, then you're correct. You can either put in, even put in your feet so that we know the dimensions that we're talking about, and you will be all set.